Uh, the Saucer Toss It, the first four draft selections this year uh, will play nine plus games in the NHL it, next year. Mitch Koff's going to go. I feel like Mitch Koff's going to go in the top four. Okay. Someone, someone's gonna, someone's gonna be like, we don't care about Putin. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Sam Constantino. <laughs> we'll be, we'll, it, we'll, we'll take him. We'll believe in him, just like you don't. It is very funny that in a year where a generational talent goes to a an established club an with established, rich history, uh, uh, the Anaheim Mighty history. Ducks get a uh, whatever's second. They got, they got this year's Bobby Ryan. What do you think Pat Verbeek's gonna do? Think he's gonna do some salty. Uh, Na- also, Nashville the drafts in Nashville. And they're just loading up on space and picks. They're gonna go and have like the honky tonk man come out and be like, "Connor McDavid, come on up, baby, we pick you." And they're like, "You can't." And Gary's like, "You can't do that." He's like, "I'm the honky tonk man. <laughs> I'll do whatever I want. Get some catfish gumbo." No, that is Louisiana. Not, is that uh, Yawns? I think the honky tonk man's. Can- oh, he's from no, he's from Arkansas. Oh. Oh, could talk. you imagine it's like the honky tonk man honky tonk man is from iran or peterborough Pe- oh yeah sorry about that uh saucer toss it a rash ryan johansson in colorado it's awesome yeah right I, I i don't know I, I feel like people uh they have the analytics test and then the eye test i i just feel like two years at four million He's gonna. He doesn't have to be the guy at all. He can just be like, "Hey, you're gonna get PP two time and go have fun out there." Yeah, and you're gonna play with. You're gonna play with. I don't know on PP two. Uh, oh, you're but not it, gonna play with. He's uh, well. I mean, uh, Landeskog's not playing next year, so I he don't gets know. second line center. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but I. I don't know if like Valerian Nikushkin's gonna come back. He's, and, well, nope. I don't know. We'll see. But I. I think like listen. He. He get listen. I'll say it like this. If Ryan Johansson gets fifty points next year, success. Yeah. There we go. $4 Perfect. Saucer toss it a rash. Will Osprey is Tiger Driver 91. Jesus Christ, that match. So- there is not enough sauce in the entire country of Italy. <laughs> there is not enough sauce in in all of the Iranian pizza places in North Vancouver where this is one, we got a lot of sauce. But yeah, <laughs> um, no, it was, a, it was such an amazing match. But Crazy. that one spot. I was just pained at so many spots of that match. Um, but my God, Will Ospreay. Yeah. What a dirty, what a, what a, what a, scoundrel. What a sick F, as they were chanting on the live broadcast. Uh, speaking of sick Fs, sauce it or toss it, Arash, the NHL Awards toss. broadcast. Oh, my God. Please just shoot me. Dirk Spentley. Who? Country. What's up? Yeah, okay, Dirk Spentley. Okay, I've heard of Dirk Spentley. But then there's this That's like, a jelly. win for the NHL Dude, there's Awards. like a jelly bean guy or whatever. Do you see that one dude who has like, he looks like a SoundCloud rapper. but he's Jelly like, roll? Yeah, but he's from Nashville. Oh yeah, that... like stop! Like, who are these people? These are people that kids listen to. No, kids don't listen to this stuff. Where's little Uzi Vert? Bring the... Kanye out. The moment they bring Kanye out to the NHL awards, I'll be like, they're taking this seriously. Little Uzi at least Vert's Con... a little more pre-pandemic. No, 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 no. A little dusty. No, no, no. Give post-pandemic Kanye. Let him go. Come out in his full colors of all the BS he's spouting and all the mental health, unchained mental health. But I'm like, who I. I, I stopped watching the NHL Awards the year that um, was at the – what's that stupid group that sang that song like a G6? Mm, I forget, but I know what you're talking Fly, about. Flying high like a G6. So, yeah, two, two, like, a G6, yeah like a G6. Yeah, like a G6. And then I remember that was like the musical performance, and you just saw all like a 24-year-old Sidney Crosby being like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Oh, can, this is great. Can There's not just, a single person of color here outside of the people performing, but all right, this is nice. Can they just give the awards out like during oh each, God. like for like for the first four games of the Stanley Cup Final? Dude, can they just like d- email it? Like, yeah, no, we gave the heart trophy to Connor McDavid. We all know what Connor McDavid's gonna say. We're also donating all the money we would have spent to doing the stupid award show to charity. NHL uh, doesn't like uh, initiatives. Um, it actually, it, well, I'll say this about the NHL awards. It's just kind of like, 
a little I think it's actually a little embarrassing sometimes <laughs> to actually put it on because it just shows like that no one care like the league the sport is great how the league is promoting sponsoring like doing everything with its stars is just so god awful yeah well I mean we're watching at this gambling ad with Gretz and uh like wh- and Connor and- dude Sometimes, sometimes the NHL awards is like the, the it's like a three hour. I think you should leave sketch. <laughs> like just bring Tim Robinson out and just have him do the the drive by crooner. <laughs> fuck, fuck, they're <laughs> no. uh, right next one. Sauce it or toss it, Tom Barrasso in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Uh deserves it more than Kevin Lowe, so I'll sauce that next. What about uh, does he deserve it more than McGilney? Deserves it more than Kevin Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage or toss it around? I think I know. Listen, I've won six Stanley Cups. I personally, me, Kevin Lowe. I no sc- one else was of significance was on that dumb spot. I scored an empty netter in game four against the Islanders. I think time. I know a little something about scoring 200 points a season. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Lowe. Okay, go. Sausage or toss it around? Hockey clubs announcing their commitment to Pride Nights following the NHL's jersey ruling. Ah, uh, just toss, man. Just... You don't like that they're... <laughs> Here. So uh, you want to, if I'm reading this right and wh- how you're phrasing it, it's that we're committed to inclusivity and diversity and making sure everyone's okay. But the distraction... No, no, I'm talking about the clubs individually. The Oshawa Generals went out. And they said that we're going to do it? The Oshawa regardless? Generals are going to keep wearing the jerseys. Oh, yeah. The Edmonton no. Oilers were like, we are uh, we are 100% committed to Pride Nights, and we're going to keep yeah, doing great. these initiatives. Okay, that way, yes. What I, I saw is that. What I'm, that was Nick, the question. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, hockey clubs are not saying Okay, sorry. I read it differently because I might be dyslexic. I'm not diagnosed with it. But I might be just like, sorry. That smells pretty good. It's actually. not. It's actually serious. I have problems reading. Me something. too. I'm uh, I'm not the best at okay, interpreting. Okay, well, it's okay. We'll talk about it later in five minutes for me. <laughs> um, this is my thing. I think it's just so hypocritical to come out and just be like, well, at least within the NHL's scope of things, to come out and say, um, yeah, you know, it's just we want to support everyone, but it's just we want to focus on the sport, which is also very white <laughs> and straight. <laughs> and super not gay. <laughs> so <laughs> we just want to focus on the really not gay parts of the g- parts of the game. But because we're the NHL and even we support all of you, but just to let you know, we're also not really gay even though we support the gay the LGBTQ community game, we're not like uh, come on. It's it's a very 90s stance. Is it's a it, real 2004 it, stance. Is it well it is. It's such a it's such an awful stance. Uh but <laughs> also it's like is it really an any is it really a Canuck season if I don't tweet about the Diwali jerseys? Next one. Sauster toss it around. Speaking of awful people, Patrick Kane going back to Chi Town to play with Connor Bedard. Don't think he can hail a cab to get back to Chicago, but we'll see if his Uber rating is good enough to get him there. I'm gonna toss that, Ryan. 